Hello everyone, it's Claudia here and today I am super excited to be showing you the August 2016 hip kits which I am a guest designer for and I'm so excited, um, the kits are amazing. I'm not going to rumble on too long, I'll get into it um, as we go along but I'll just start off by showing you the papers. So um, I got the paper add-on as well so I put them here already so in the main kit you get one sheet of each. So first off you get this paper which is from the Crepe Paper Cute Girl collection and it has got rainbows and it's just a striped paper with uh, a bunch of different colors that are featured in the collection and there's some distressing um, as well. Then the back side is this really beautiful um, wood grain and um, I don't know if you are like me but I can never have en enough um, wood paper so I love that side as well. So I'm very happy that I have the paper add-on because the papers are really gorgeous this month. Um, then next up from that same collection, the Crepe Paper Cute Girl collection, we have this paper and it's called BU. And this is just a black and white paper and it has like the scalloped uh, border which is very nice. And I love black and white papers. I think they're a great contrast for any project and I just love the look of them as well. And the back side is this really gorgeous paper. This is probably my favorite paper. Um, you could use it in so many different ways. You can cut it apart, you can just use it for layering or whatever you can think of. You can probably use this paper for it. So I have to sit down and think about how I'm going to use the paper, but it's definitely my favorite. Then um, this is another paper. Okay, I totally messed up. Uh, the names. You know what? The names don't really matter. Um, but yeah, this is another one from the Crepe Paper Cute Girl collection and it's just like the yellow and white uh, scalloped thingies. And the back side is this really um, nice gray tone with the triangles and it's just a really nice subtle pattern that you can just use on so many different projects. Um, this next paper is from the Dear Lizzy Saturday collection and it is called Madison Avenue. And it's this watercolory type of uh, paper, and it's just kind of like the basic shapes of a floral, so it's not as much detail. It's quite interesting, and I do apologize about my voice in advance. I'm not used to talking. Apparently, I can't talk for long. Um, but then the back side is this kind of circle paper, and then within the circles, you get like a bunch of like smaller dots and scattered dots. I guess it's quite um, busy, but um, I like it and I like how the branding strip is uh, one you can use um, on different projects as well because it's in a different pattern. And then from the Amy Tangerine Oh Happy Life collection you get this um, cut apart paper and it is called Yes Please. And um, I really love Amy's like hand script that she does. I think it's very beautiful and I really like that doodle so I'll definitely cut that one out as well. And the back side is this like, it's like a chevron and then they have like stripes. It's a bit crazy on the eyes to be honest. Um, but I think it's quite interesting and I'll probably think a way, or, or I'll think of a way to use it. And again with the branding strip, um, I will save that as well. Then from that same collection, the Amy Tangerine Oh Happy Life collection, this paper um, is called who would have guessed? It's called Happy and it's just a very colorful, busy paper um, and it has like the scripted um, Happy in different colors and also um, in capital letters which is very interesting and the back side is this very pretty um, kind of like a mince bluish kind of color um, and then ha it has some watercolor effects in the background and on top of it there's some small dots and um, next up we have this paper from the Crepe Paper Cute Girl collection and it is called Giggle and it's a very nice pink tone on tone uh, pattern I'm not really sure how you would describe this specific pattern but you can kind of um, see what it looks like anyway and the back side is kind of this very pretty black and white um, tilted squares I guess but they're not squares they have like um, 
I don't even know how to describe that, but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> then this next paper is from the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection, and it is called Central Park, and it's a super gorgeous floral. And I really love how it looks. I'm sorry I had to restart my narration again because my voice is so annoying. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous floral, and I wish those florals were like in the ephemera pack or something because they're really pretty. Then the back side is this um, ledger kind of paper, and it's just, um, you know, the blue, and I think it's like a red pinkish type of color. And then to the left side, as you can see, it has like that pattern with the dots. I probably would have liked it a bit more without that, but, you know, um, who am I to judge? It's it's a bit different, I would say, and then the running strip with the taxis. And then the last paper is this paper, and it's called Metro. It's, again, from the Dear Lizzy Saturday collection, and it's just a bunch of plus signs in colors, of course, that match with the collection. And um, it's very pretty paper, and the pattern is very useful. And the backside of that paper is, um, like they're triangles, I guess, but it's like more kind of abstract. Um, there's been papers similar to this in the past, but I do really like that type of design. And of course the branding strip again, uh, with the different pattern too. So those are all the papers. Again, I put in the paper add-on with those papers I just showed you as well. So you only get one sheet of each in the main kit. And as for embellishments that come in the main kit, you get these really pretty um, thickers. Obviously they are from the Dear Lacey Saturday collection and they are black and white, which is amazing by itself, but on top of that they also have um, black polka dots on them, which makes them even more amazing. And you get a lot of A's and E's and stuff. And um, you also get numbers and uh, some symbols, and I love those ampersands too. So very beautiful. If you know me, I'm not really a thicker person, but I'll try to use those. Um, then from that same collection, you get these um, chipboard words and phrases or something. I think that's what they call the product, but you can see what they are. And it's a really nice script. I'm not sure if it's um, Dear Lizzie script or not, but it's very pretty regardless. And there's a backside too. And you also get some like smaller elements like hearts and some arrows and stuff. So those are going to be very useful as well. Then you also get um, a package of uh, Amy Tangerine Oh Happy Life die cuts or ephemera, whatever you want to call them. And these are a mix of um, cardstock and uh, transparency pieces and you get a total of 40 pieces in there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but the white border around the cardstock pieces is quite thick. And I'm not going to open it up, but you can kind of see on the back what's in there. And there are some pieces that I really like, but also a few that I'm not sure if I will use them, but, you know, maybe I'll think of a way to use them. Then from the Cray Paper Cute Girl collection, you get these really cool wood embellishments. So they look like wood veneer, and they are, but except um, for just being that, they're like layered on top of each other. So they're like dimensional wood veneer. Um, very cool. I'm not sure if I would use all of them because some of them are a bit um, whimsical or childish because it's like a kid collection, but we'll see. And then from that same collection you get this uh, package of embellishments and I've been really excited about these. So you get these enamel dots. Um, I think these also are enamel hearts. A small package of star sequins. Um, I think they're in two different colors, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And you get um, some gold bow paper clips. And these were in the Maggie Holmes Confetti collection as well. And in that package you got free, and I loved them so much. So I was so excited when I saw that they were um, in this collection, and I figured I needed a few packs of these just for those bows, or those paper clips. And then... That is the main kit, so now I will show you the embellishment add-on this month. So from the Cray Paper Cute Girl collection you get these puffy stickers and um, they are very cute and adorable, but I'm going to be honest and say that there's a few amount of 
the embellishments or elements rather that I don't know how I'm going to use because again I feel like they're too whimsical but maybe I'll use them on a layout of Amy which is my dog or something um, but I do really like the design of those letters with the colorful um, hello it's very colorful and I like that ice cream I should probably get one it's actually really hot today um, which in Denmark it doesn't happen that often but it's quite hot so maybe I'll get an ice cream um, then from the crepe paper cool kid collection which is like the boy version of cute girl um, you get these wooden um, alphabet letters and this is a very interesting product so they're like kind of like wood veneer but just like in letters and um, it's single-sided as you can see you don't get as many letters as you would in other figure packs but that's probably because of the um, you know them being a wooden thingy so I don't even know if that makes sense but um, yeah you also get um, these clear stickers from the Dear Lacey Saturday collection and you see two different sheets but you actually get two of each sheet so you get a total of four sheets in there which um, is very well I want to say like generous but kind of you know you get a lot of stickers and I've never had these before so I'm not sure how I'm going to use them if I'm going to like using them but if I struggle then I could of course just mount them on some white cardstock or whatever and cut around them then from the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection you get these rubber shapes um, which are very pretty um, and again I've never had rubber shapes before I've heard people rave about them and say that they really love them so I'm very curious to see if I am going to feel that same way but um, very much looking forward to um, having a play with those so um, this kit has some um, exclusive ephemera and this is the most exciting part because these were actually designed by me and I can't say or express enough how grateful I am for that opportunity because you know HipKit is a pretty pretty well known club kid club and um, I love them I always follow them I wish I had the money to subscribe but unfortunately I don't but I still think they're an amazing company so to have been able to design for them um, just really amazing so I'm just kind of laying down the pieces right now so you can get a more uh, detailed look um, if you're familiar with me or what I do is I design printable slash digital collections that I sell in my Etsy shop and I always like to include lots of florals because I don't know I know that not everyone will agree but I love florals so you know can't can't have enough florals so um, yeah you know there's a lot of florals or some hexagons some tags um, some words a few frames a few layering pieces you know just a whole lot of different things that I thought would be useful for um, a lot of different projects and I try to kind of um, how do you say that like use some uh, darker colors as well for those who don't have girls or don't like pink as much so I'm just trying to get these less pieces out and they're not really cooperating and I really love how these scallop borders turn out so they're like scallop borders and like a watercolor look and um, yeah I, you know I don't really know what else to say it was amazing designing them it was a lot of fun designing them I was actually on holiday um, or on vacation visiting my family when I was designing them so I honestly didn't have a whole lot of time to design these because obviously I was busy um, you know doing other stuff but I tried my best with the limited time that I had and I think they turned out pretty pretty nicely uh, I would love to hear what you think of them as well, of course. And I look forward to playing with them on a layout. So this is actually the first time that any of my stuff has been printed and put in a kit or whatever. So it's amazing for me. Like a year ago, I was, I could have never dreamt that something like that could happen. So it's really amazing. And um, yeah, I'm truly thankful. 
I know my voice maybe doesn't sound like it, but it's just because my voice is not in the best shape right now. So next up, I will show you the Project Life Kit, and I will show you the cards later because they're gorgeous, so save the best for last. So these are some clear stickers, and they're like banner shapes and some hexagons as well. And I also designed these, and they are manufactured by Pretty Little Studio, uh, just like the um, ephemera pack I just showed you. And um, if you don't want them to be see-through or clear, you can just mount them on, I don't know, a piece of white paper or whatever and just cut around them. They're easy enough shapes to cut out, so that's nice. Then from the uh, Pink Paisley Paige Evans Take Me Away collection, you get these mirror stickers. I'm not sure how annoying this is for you to look at, but I've never had mirror stickers before. I think they're very interesting and um, I look forward to having a play with them. Then from the My Mind's Eye Hooray collection, which is the birthday collection, I think, um, you get these enamel dots. And I love enamel dots. I think they're very, you know, useful. You can use them in so many things, but I just never buy them. Um, then from the Pink Paisley Paige Evans Take Me Away collection, you get these wood veneers. And I'm just going to show you on the back what you get in there. You get a lot of different shapes. and um, I like that they're like dipped in color. Then from the Amy Tangerine Oh Happy Life collection, you get this sticker book. And if you're familiar with the sticker books uh, in those collections, they're jam-packed. Um, there's a bunch of pages. In this one, there is eight pages. I think there's a total of 514 or 524 stickers or something. It's, it's crazy. There's so many. And these are clear stickers. So that means that they're see-through. And again, if you don't want them to be that way, you can just put them on a piece of white paper or if you want them to be another color um, and then they will just not be see through and you get the dates uh, not the dates of the year the months of the year and days of the week and then a page with just some words and phrases and the last sheet is uh, one with tiny alphas and you get so many letters on that sheet so there's a lot of different um, elements in that sticker book that you can use. So next up I will show you the exclusive Project Life cards and these are designed by Kim Watson and I love Kim Watson's work. I always think she does such an amazing job at designing them and whenever I see her exclusives in the kits I'm always just so in love with them. It's really amazing so I'm very excited to have some of her Project Life cards. So first I will show you the 4x6 cards. Um, so this is this really pretty floral and it has like the month. I guess this would be a really good like starter card if you do Project Life. But I'm planning on um, actually cutting out the floral and use it on a layout because I don't do Project Life. So you know. Um, then this next up is this really pretty kind of like a brush stroke watercolory type of card. Which is going to be really nice for layering. Then we have another one, it's a striped one, and it says today, I think. I'm not 100% sure. As always, I am doing um, my voiceover after, and I got interrupted here, so that's why I stopped uh, doing anything for a second. Then this next card is this really pretty one that says overheard and has these um, speech um, bubbles, I think. And then this one says shut the front door, which is quite an interesting saying. It's not how I would say it, maybe. Well, I guess, I don't know. Sorry about that, I had to restart the voiceover again because, I don't know, my voice is just not in a good shape at all these past few months. Um, so now I'll just give you a quick look at the 3x4 cards. I can't tell you at the top of my head how many um, there are in there, but there's a decent amount and they're all very um, pretty and even if you don't do Project Life you can still um, use them on your scrapbooking layouts because not all of them have like journaling space or words or text in them and I really love how well they match with the products Kim did an amazing job like I said she always does an amazing job but she definitely did an amazing job this month as well so I really love these. So this is just one like black and white with the plus um, signs. And then this one with the pink stripe. 
I really love this one too. It's like a watercolor -y type of look with the heart on it. I'll probably try and fussy cut it out. And then another one. I can't see what it is on this tiny screen. And then this one says little details and it has like the colored dots at the bottom. Just the orange with the polka dots, the white polka dots. And just a really cute one with that small little floral. This like dipped one and another one with plus signs. It's a really fun, colorful plus sign one. Just one with the scallop borders. I don't know how you're supposed to put that. Um, this one says, yes please. Very cute. And this one has like a, I don't know, you could put like your date or something on there. I guess. I don't know. And then I have an extra one of this one. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. Um, but I definitely don't mind having an extra one of that one for sure. So those are all the um, exclusive Project Live cards you get with the kit this month. And they're really gorgeous and I look forward to playing with them because um, you know it's going to be interesting to see how I can use these and then last but not least you get these uh, the color add-on and you get these um, oil pastels from Prima which are very interesting Missy did a video showing you how you can use these and before I forget I forgot to show you the cardstock add-on but you get six uh, sheets of white cardstock, you get two vellum sheets and two, I think they're called neutral sheets. So just quickly putting that in there. Um, and then with the color add-on kit, you get these um, tags or like laser die cut. I don't know what they're called, but they're really pretty and I can't wait to use these. You can use them in so many different ways. You can watercolor them, you can mount a paper behind them, you can use them as is. There's just a lot of ways you can use these. So um, those are all the kits. I cannot wait to start playing with them. Um, I'm so excited about being a guest designer. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about my horrible voice. I hope it gets better soon. Um, but hopefully I'll be back with more videos soon. And have a great day. Bye.